Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and one of the things that I was asked about in Intel system update in the optional uh, updates in Windows 10 and of course Windows 11 also has those and I'll show you one because I have one here that I can actually show you what they look like and of course this is a viewer question about what is that and should I install it so if I go to the settings and I go into Windows update I will now go into advanced options and here I have optional updates and it says one available so you can go there and check it out and that update if I actually expand says Intel system January 1st 1970 12 a.m. 10.1.1.42 and you might say what the hell is that and why does it have such an old date and this is one of the system drivers of Intel what is it? Is it just, you know, CPU? Is it? It's multiple things. Usually when you have a computer that's based on an Intel chipset, it will have uh, very often multiple drivers of all sorts that are all based on Intel itself. So uh, it could be Intel um, adapter for Wi-Fi. It could be an Intel controller. Uh, host, of course, the processors and all of that uh, are possibly updated uh, through basically the um, Intel drivers of all sorts. So they will show up in the uh, updates, the optional updates like that. And so you see here that there's a lot of Intel drivers on my system, the Intel serial host controller, the bridge. Uh, all of that, PCI Express, you know, PCI Express root port, uh, and so on, and it could also be even the Wi-Fi, um, you know, the adapter, um, which will be, of course, uh, possibly. And so, if I look at the network adapters here, it's an Intel Wi-Fi six. So all of those are drivers, and often these are packages of system drivers. When you put a check mark, you now have the download and installed that is possible. Um, for the most part, I would say that, yeah, it's not a bad idea to update them because sometimes when you look at um, updates, especially for Windows 11, you might see that you are 21H2, you're not offered 22H2, or maybe you'll be on 22H2, but you won't be offered 23H2, and you're wondering why. Sometimes it's because these drivers are too old, and the optional updates might actually bring them to you newer drivers. There's also something else that can sometimes show up through this. And we're going to talk about it in a next video because there's an Intel CPU flaw that is being fixed and it could come through a system update like this. If you have no problems, <coughs> you can just ignore it, but um, you can install it. For the most part, they are safe.